In the last video we made sure that we could play some sounds and in this video we will make sure that we can actually adjust the sound or the volume of, uh, of the sound by going into the options menu and adjusting it like so, right? So to do that we will have to open up our sound manager and inside the sound manager we will have to make a new function called update volume. So let's go to the bottom here and say public void update uh, volume okay so this will update the volume we have a music source and an sfx source right and it needs to be um, updated um, based on the sliders we have and we have the sliders down here so somehow we need to link the sliders to the audio sources so when we change the slider we will update the audio source so to do that, we go down here and we write um, music source dot volume equals music slider dot value. So now the music source volume will be, will be equal to the music slider's value. And then we can say SFX um, source dot volume equals SFX slider dot value. So yeah, now we can do that, but update volume will, we could call it an update and then we'll update all the time, but that's not really what we want to do. We would only want it to update when we adjust the sliders. To make it update when we adjust the sliders, we can jump back into Unity and open up the canvas and then find our options menu and then find our sliders. Because if we select the music slider, we'll see there's something called on value changed and this one will trigger every time you change a value on it so when we change the slider this function will be uh, or this event will be executed and we can bind it up to a function so let's try to click the plus and take the sound manager there it is drag it down here and say sound manager and update volume and the same goes for the SFX slider Let's click the plus here and say that we take the sound manager and when we move that we also want to update our volume. So to play some music I will have to select my sound manager and select the audio source and say play on awake for my top audio source that plays the in-game volume because I, I disabled it earlier. So if I play the game now it plays some music and I can go in here and adjust the volume so you can see you can try it yourself so if I turn it up it's loud and if I turn it down it will have less volume of course and the same should work for the sound volume here um, yeah I'm not going to test that because I know it works but uh, now the sliders works for um, adjusting the volume so um, one thing we need to do is also we need to save the volume um, values because let's say you have a game and you set your options and everything and you would like those options to persist so when you restart the game later it will still have those options so the sound isn't horrible loud and the next time you play the game again so how do you do that well we need to save the volume so in the update volume we simply have to say player prefs which can be used to store stuff in uh, pr store persistence data in Unity. Unity. Set uh, float. Let's call this one SFX and just use the SFX slider dot value. So this stores in 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 the um, player prefs something called SFX, and it uses the SFX slider's value to store under this tag here. So we can get it again later. Then we can say player prefs dot set. Um, float music music slider dot value and there we go so now we are using the player prefs to save something so we also need to load these so now we have saved them we need to load them so how do we do that well we say public void load volume And then we say SFX source, not slider, dot volume equals. So 
now when we update the volume every time we change the slider, we save this in the memory. So in the load function, we need to get it from the memory. So we can say player prefs dot get float instead. SFX and 0 0.5. So what is 0 0.5? Well, that's the default. Let's say, let's see here, this is the default value. So let's say we haven't updated the volume and first time you start the game. Well, there is no save data. So just to get a value by default, we simply just put it to 0 0.5 as the default value. So if we haven't played the game before, we have the medium value uh, volume. And then we say music source dot volume equals player prefs dot get float music. Um, and also 0 0.5 as the default value. So now we have the volumes stored, right? We have set the volumes, but the sliders needs to reflect this. So I need to say music slider dot value equals mus uh, music source dot volume and SFX slider dot value equals SFX source dot volume. So now we are updating it. So where do we need to call this? Well, we can simply go to start when we have loaded all the audio clips and everything, we can simply say load volume here and save. Okay, so let's give this a try. Now we have load volume. So this is the first time I played with that. So it should just have the medium option here. And if I turn this down and I go back um, and I stop the game, now when I play it, it should have the volume turned down, even though I stopped the game and played again. So if I open up options, you can see the music volume here is adjusted. And I can also turn this up. This one also should fit. Yeah. Okay, so sound volume is not updating correctly, only music. So I need to see what I did wrong there. So the reason that it doesn't work for the... Um, SFX value is because we call load volume as the first thing and when we do so it says well SFX source that volume equals player prefs that get float and so on well when I change the volume here we already assigned um, an event that says well volume is changed we call update volume so when it executes this line it actually calls update volume before it's done doing all this which means that it will take the music source and the SFX source volume values and set them equal to whatever they were um, from the get-go and that's 0 0.5 from a standard. And then we will set the value for save, we will save the value as 0 0.5 in both of them and then we will continue loading and we call music source the volume and we exact, ex execute the exact same thing up here again and resets all the values and then we continue. And then we set the sliders correct. So to fix this, we will make sure that the events out here uh, for the music slider and the SFX slider will not be assigned from the get-go. So basically, if you have this out here, I just removed it because I was testing something. Sorry about that. Um, so if you have this sound manager selected and um, update volume on the sliders, you need to select both sliders and click the minus to make sure none of the sliders has um, has that um, event triggered we just added before. They need to blank here. Music slider and SFX slider needs to be blank. So we need to assign it from the code after we have loaded the volume. So we load the volume and everything is fine. And then we assign them to update. So to do this, we need to call this on value changed event and assign it to um, the update value volume function. So we say music slider, which is this slider up here, and we can access this from it. And we're going to do the same with the uh, SFX. Music slider on value changed at listener. What do we need to add? Well, we need to add update volume. I can write update 
volume like so but this is not going to work we need to do something so when we assign something we need something called a delegate I'm not going to go into details about delegates right now but you can write delegate and then make a scope like so and we need semicolon here and this is the con uh, this is the structure or the syntax for adding update volume to music sliders on value changed from the code so you can copy this one and paste it and take as a fixed slider as well so when the SFX slider on value changes is, add, is executed, it will update the volume. So notice this. When I play, it will not be reflected on this, this um, line here because the editor is not updating. It doesn't know that we're doing this from the code. But it should be working even though we don't have them out here. So that means that now I should be able to um, go to my script here and save. Just make sure everything's saved. And then I simply have to go here, play the game, open up the options menu, and I can turn down music and I can turn up volume. And if I stop playing and play again now, then the val values are correct now. So that's why we assigned from the code. So that's it. Sorry about the little mix up where I assigned it out here, first of all. Um, but I figured it was a nice thing to show you how to assign a delegate and show you why we didn't do it like this. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my video. Please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.